Hi everyone, welcome to the Paw Paws Workshop. Today, this is a remake of a sign that I did a couple months ago with quite a few changes. Let me show you how we did it today, so let's get started. Probably one of the most important things that I did with selecting a new wood is actually pre-finishing the wood to begin with. And I stained it with actually two different color stains and then I went ahead and sealed it. In redoing this sign, I corrected several things that I just did not like in the first one. The first being the wood selection. I used a very, very soft wood that had a lot of the knots in it and it was actually difficult to work with. And when I carved it, although the carving did a good job, it wasn't great, but it did a good job, it still required a lot of sanding. So the first thing is I changed the wood. I went with the select pine. And then the second thing, the carving was very, very deep in that first sign. It went 0.2 inches deep, which was far too deep. I was trying to get a nice groove here to be able to show the white, but it wasn't necessary. So that was the second thing. The third thing is I did not use the two-stage carving. I actually used the regular V bit to do all these flat areas. So today I changed and made this sign, which I think looked a lot more professional, because these letters are 0.1 inch deep, as this is. I also used the two-stage carving to carve out the bulk of this area first and then use the V-bit. The next thing that I did is I changed the V-bit. I used a 90 degree V-bit to do the carving versus the 60 degree bit. And lastly, I split the carve up into several different sections. I used a 90 degree bit to carve the uh, Creekside Junior High to begin with and I left this to cut second. This is the portion that I did the two-stage carving. A couple of months ago, I did this logo and had the video posted, but I really didn't like it. The wood was extremely soft, and I cut the logo out at 0.2 inches deep, which was way too deep, and it did require far too much cleanup. So here is number two. I used a different wood, it's a select pine, and I pre-stained it and finished the wood. The letters are now cut at 0.1 inch deep, which is half the depth of the original letters. The next thing that I did is I used two-stage carving, and I carved this logo portion with an eighth inch straight bit to do the initial cutout, and it left the bottom much smoother as you might expect versus the V bit. For the detail pass I made another change. This is a 90 degree V bit versus the 60 degree bit that I used in the first video. This actually cut very nice and it left a good sharp edge on the carving for this logo. Doing it this way where I split up the carve with the letters first doing a single carve and then the logo on a two-stage carving worked out very much, much better. And this sign requires very little sanding. Now I took the sign over to the router table because I wanted to do the edge on the router table versus the CNC machine because it's a lot quicker and much easier. I'm using a 45 degree chamfer bit to do the carving here. And all I did is just run this around the edge and put a nice sharp edge that required no sanding at all. And here is what the sign looked like with the chamfered edge on it. And you can see it's very sharp, very crisp, with no need for sanding. Now it's back to painting and finish it up. And this sign looks a lot more professional, and it took less time to carve, and the painting actually was quite easy. 
Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.